Hello, welcome to Chasing Diecast Cars. So I got a box this week from my buddy Joe from the United States. He has a YouTube channel called XLT Offroad Bear. So make sure to check him out. And uh, it took some time uh, between the time it uh, landed in Brussels to get to me. Because uh, as you can see with this blue tape, Customs opened it up to see what was in there. Uh, I ended up not having to pay uh, extra fees or costs or tax or customs or anything. So lucky for me, that might change in the future though. Because uh, starting from uh, June 1 or July 1, I'm not sure, rules for importing stuff into, the, into Europe is going to change. So we'll see, I have to read up on that whether uh, I will still be able to uh, to get packages packages sent to me without having to pay a lot of money to my government. Anyways, let's see what's in here. I kind of have an idea what's going to be in here. Rudy Moon Eyes, good evening. Uh, I think there's going to be a lot of Volvo in here. And uh, we'll see what else uh, we're going to get. Ooh, I already see some nice stuff. Cookie Garage, $19.99, Bonsoir. So there's a nice letter in here from Joe. Let's see, Jeroen, I hope this finds you well. I'm finally sending off this latest box of goodies for you. Enclosed find two Matchbox 5-packs. Wow, cool. The expected wagon set and a bonus EV and hybrid set I found at the last minute and figured you would like. Wow, awesome. Also, two of the fast wagons, the 850 Estate and Volvo Amazon. Cool. I'm so happy to have these for you as they are among my favorite Hot Wheels castings for, from this year. There is also the Masters of the Universe Volkswagen Transporter Premium I told you about and a few yeah, I agree with you, uh, Joe. Nobody can have too many of the red and yellow 850 estates. Um, the last box you sent was so generous. There is no need to send anything in return. <laughs> I'm definitely going to send uh, stuff in return, Joe, but you will have to wait until I get uh, to France and Germany again and uh, to uh, when the, um, the swap meets uh, are held again. Then I can get you some uh, stuff to send you back. Uh, this is not a trade box, simply an appreciation box for your friendship and friendship and support. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. Spring is here and things are improving, hopefully for you also. Yeah, slowly it's getting better here. So that's very cool, Joe. Let's see what's in here. All right. So here we have from the Flying Customs, the Custom Volkswagen Beetle. That's cool. There's only one European vehicle in there, and that would be the one I would pick up. Uh, I think they have this set in uh, one toy store here in Belgium. And, uh, well, they're asking a lot of money for it. So, uh, yeah, I'm very glad to get this from Joe. Of course, I'm going to open it up. Very nice teal color. So, this has been uh, retooled some time ago, I think. Yeah. Very nice retro look on it. It's got those, um, yeah, kind of black wall retro wheels. Awesome. And here we got the Chevy Caprice Classic and the uh, R Royal Canadian Mounted Police livery. So that is awesome. I have not found this one. You can even see their. Uh, and a trademark. It's very cool that they... Uh, this is a licensed livery. I think that's very awesome. So, I'm going to crack this one also. Why not? Very dark tinted windows. Like these uh, disc wheels, hubcaps. Canada. And there's a... Seems to be... 
Is that the way to tell? They apparently have the same emergency number as in the United States. I think that's a smart thing to do. They are so close after all. It's a bit like here in Europe, we have 112 in many European countries. Um, this camera is not good enough to show you the interior. There's a there's kind of a, a screen in there, com a little computer. Uh, I don't see any hand. Oh yeah, I see handcuffs on the driver's seat, but no. D so welcome, Monica McLaren. You're watching the ND500 at night. So normally at this time you would be in bed, I assume. So yeah. That's already two winners in here. Let's uh, pull these out. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Very cool. So this is the um, Matchbox Retro set from Target. Uh, no quirky garage. I don't have a new camera. It's still my um, my smartphone I'm using for the live videos. But um, the, the camera I'm using for the regular videos is not my smartphone, it's a kind of a camcorder and that one has a much better lens. I can show the interior with those. So yeah, I've already got one of these open. Um, Roverland, also on YouTube, send me uh, the whole set so I can keep this carded. Very cool. Nice retro set this is. I'll put this in the back. Oh boy, there's a lot of stuff in here. It's going to start tumbling out. Oh yeah. So here's the, the dodgy bond. I actually found one by surprise. Only one example uh, locally for cheap. So I bought that one and uh, yeah, I don't mind getting another one. This is uh, on an American, no, it's an international long card. So yeah, that's very cool. I'm going to adjust the camera a little bit because uh, it's kind of hard for me to see the the comments in an angle like that. So yeah, it's a very nice Rio Asada casting with the go kart in the back. Awesome! All right, there's so much stuff in here, man. Cool. So here we got the Porsche 914 Safari. Luftgekoeld in German, so air cooled. So uh, I already got an example of this one too. Um, not sure where I got it. Hey Joe, welcome. The man himself is in the live chat. So yeah, this is a very cool casting. Very cool. This is a very big box, Joe, and this is a store exclusive from uh, the United States. Hello from Greece. Uh, Joe, remind me which store this comes from. Uh, very nice blue color. This is uh, yeah, very awesome. I love to get these American exclusives. 129, so that's about one uh, euro. Hot Wheels Collector Event 2020. Hey Sean from Ireland, welcome. Joseph Pinter, good evening. GameStop, yeah, that's it. Exclusive deck. Thanks, Joe, for uh, helping me out on that. So, yeah, very cool. Hello from Mexico. So, here we got uh, a regular mainline release, and this is the exclusive GameStop exclusive white rims. This one has the silver rims. The rest is pretty much the same deco. So yeah, that's very cool. So far we got two American exclusives already. Love that. Aha! And here is my favorite Hot Wheels tooling on long card in red and in yellow. Very awesome. American long cards they are, so that's even better. So that is absolutely great. Definitely are going to keep these carded. You got the red one, quirky, so you still need to find the yellow one. 
so yeah let's take a look at these yeah that's right joe i know you like this casting too so uh that makes two of us it's very cool one day i need to get a, a picture from uh the one i had down from the attic because all my you know back in the day um the uh, pictures were not digital but uh, printed and they're in the attic so i need to get up there and uh, grab a pic the, one of the pictures of my car back then so yeah that's very awesome joe thank you so much do i want to go to czech republic well i've been there once a long time ago i bought some diecast too it was very cheap but uh, I don't have any plans of going anytime soon. But, you know, who knows? One day. Awesome. Very nice. Okay. And then uh, we got some premium stuff here. We got the Volkswagen T1 panel bus from uh, Masters of the Universe. So this is pop culture. Very nice blue color. Uh, this I think this is my second example of this casting. Uh, so I got one other version of this. Yeah, Joe, it's been a while since you sent this and with customs and everything. Uh, it took a while to get here. Hey, from Huntington Beach, California. Welcome. Uh, I don't have a favorite Pokemon, sorry. Not into that kind of stuff. So yeah, very heavy metal on metal piece with the rubber tires. Uh, uh, possibly there's another deco on the other side. I'm not sure if they still do that because it's been a while since I uh, opened up uh, Pop Culture. I'll open uh, the premium one up when I get uh, another Hot Wheels display case and then do a, a whole video on uh, opening those up all and putting them into the display. Um, some other cool stuff in there, the Unimog, the fan they call it the 70s fan but i think it's uh, usually called something different the bread box and then this 55 chevy panel i think this one used to have a motorcycle in the back but that's not the case anymore yeah cool stuff all right and here we got a hot wheels monster truck the beetle yeah that's cool yeah the super van quirky that's what uh, this one was called thanks the super van indeed so uh yeah these monster trucks when they do these uh licensed cars and they are vws i uh, definitely want to get a hold of those uh, these are also very expensive here in europe if you can find them still a lot of old stuff for sale here because uh, at those prices they don't sell very well obviously it's got the recrushable car, not as cool as the die-cast crushed cars, but uh, you know, this is a uh, much more important. Very cool beetle. No, it's definitely not a four transit uh, quirky. That's right. Um, I should compare this with the the majorette version of the beetle one day. Um, I think, uh, I'm not sure if they have released one yet. I know there's a T1 van, but I um, don't think they have the this one already. All right, underneath uh, these five packs, there's two other beauties. Wow, look at that. So here's the whole set. Yeah, that's right, Sean. Very generous, generous package from Joe. And that T1 Cool is definitely uh, very awesome, very sought after here in Europe. Yeah, Wagon Beauty. That's right, Quirky. So here's the premium version of the Volvo 850. It says 850T5R on the license plate and even on the, on the lift gate. That's not the case with the regular version. I got one loose here in the baggie. That's how I, I store them. As I wanted to uh, 
hold it kind of next to it. You see with the uh, regular version, it just says 850. With the premium version, it says T5R underneath. This was kind of a sig signature color for the T5R, this yellow. So it lit so much different yellow, more pale yellow on the premium version. In the front, we get the Volvo emblem that's painted gray. And the headlights are a little bit different in, uh, in Deco too. Yeah, kind of a cream yellow quirky, that's right. Got the door handles painted on the premium one too. And of course the real riders. In the back there's not much of a difference. Joseph Pinter says he has an error from the premium Volvo. The headlight tempos are missing. Oh wow. That's a, a cool error. So yeah, very, very beautiful. That's got the metal yellow base, of course. Or is that the real name of the color, cream yellow? All right. And then another beauty, new casting, the Volvo P220 Amazon wagon. Hello, David Johns from Twice Diecast. Welcome. So you ex actually got a stream notification. That's cool. Yeah, I agree, Sean. The regular one is uh, very cool. They actually did a premium version, but uh, the, the regular version is already very nice. It's a very smart thing to do with the, the black part from the interior that makes for the, the plastic cladding and the bumper piece. Very smart engineering on that. So we got the Volvo P220 Amazon wagon, new casting. Very cool. It's uh, completely slammed. It's got a roll cage in there even. Very nicely taillight details. And uh, chrome around the windows and the handles and the uh, part where the lighting for the license plate is. Yeah, cool Joe. I would like to see that uh, drilled apart Volvo 850, how it's constructed. And then in front we get the headlights and the uh, indicator lights, Volvo name and the grill piece. It's actually part of, I think, the interior, it seems. Well, the dashboard, because this seems like it's a two-tone interior, so you got brown for the roll cage and the seats, and then gray for the dashboard and the steering wheel. And the bumpers are part of the base. So yeah, very nice green color also on the sign we got at the side we got that uh, badge there it probably says uh, I don't know 120 something or 220 probably sorry 220 on the side there door handle and then the, the chrome protection strip there so yeah looking forward to, forward to what they do with this casting in the main line uh, I will, of course, hoard these also. I've owned three Volvos, so um, um, I've owned two Honda Civics, so I've owned more Volvos and I've owned Honda Civics. So yeah, definitely. I will finally make that Volvo video. I think I've got, well, got pretty much every single car I wanted for that with these. Um, the only one I'm still missing is that uh, P1800S from that uh, five pack. Um, that's probably not going to be in here because <laughs> that would be a really big coincidence. Um, that's the only one I'm kind of missing, but you know, uh, maybe I'll do the video without that one. Uh, we'll see. But yeah, very cool to have these.
uh, yeah, the 850 Quirky, the 740 that I still have, and uh, I also had a V40 um, from uh, the 90s. Uh, at the end of the 90s, I had a, a V40 also. Uh, not to be confused with the V40 now. So those are the three Volvos I had. All right, so let's look at the five packs. Oh, seems to be taped up. Maybe I can slide it out like that. Yep, there we go. So here we got the Um, the Volvo P1800S, uh, Joe, is kind of a, a reddish one from that, um, from a five pack. Uh, I'm not sure what it was called, a five pack, uh, out of the top of my head. So, Matchbox, EV, and Hybrid. So, these are actually all kind of repeats from existing releases, mainline releases that they did. Um, this is retooled to have a plastic body um, and uh, Okay, that will be uh, cool Joe because I haven't seen that five pack here uh, in Europe yet It's from uh, 2020, but uh, I've never seen it Because because of COVID I think uh, There's a lot of stuff we didn't get So yeah, this is a uh, Definitely cool to have. This is 2021. It's got the recyclable packaging, so the, um, the insert where the vehicles are environmentally friendly is what they are aiming for with Matchbox. So we've got the cars here on the side. Toyota Prius, 2015 BMW i3, 2015 BMW i8, 2009 International E-Star, 2018 Nissan Leaf. We got the Leaf on this side and on the back. I didn't know the second V40 wasn't sold either, uh, Quirky. Did not realize that. Let's see the other one. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's awesome, Joe. That's a nice surprise. Got the Matchbox Wagons 5-pack. Did not see this one yet either in stores. So that's very cool. So I got a lot of wagons in this box. So we got the 2002 Audi RS6 Avant, the 1964 Ford Fairlane Wagon, the Cadillac CTS Wagon and the 59 Chevy Wagon, and the 1971 Oldsmobile Vista Cruiser. So yeah, very, very nice. Five pack, unbelievable, they actually did a, um, a Wagons five pack. So yeah, very, very cool. So it's got the um, CTS wagon on the side here and on the back. This one actually doesn't have an interior anymore. Yeah, the Audi is very nice in this uh, charcoal gray. And of course this Ford. I like this casting very much, but uh, don't know about the uh, not having an interior though. Yeah, I agree, Sean. Usually there's a, a dud in there or several, but this one, it's all cool stuff. This one also does not have an interior, but it's got the top piece. Yeah, Cadillac okay, is indeed very cool, quirky. So, that's uh, well, packaging. Very nice packaging, uh, Joe. Of all this stuff, I'd have to do it differently because I don't think I will be able to get everything in the picture like this. So yeah, very cool, very nice stuff in here. Thank you so much, Joe, for that. Uh, some nice surprises in there. Uh, very nice additions to the Volvo collection for sure and station wagons too and of course hybrids it's all stuff I collect VWs 
Porsches, of course. Got the American exclusives here. So yeah, very, very nice stuff. The Big Air Bel Air is not, uh, I have one just to have one, Joe, but it's not something I uh, I really uh, dig a lot. Um, it's a bit goofy, I think. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, let's just... Project Hybrid Electric Vehicle. Is that what PHEV means? I think it means plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. So let's see here. I think these are all the releases of the 850 so far. So that's already a nice bunch of vehicles for only existing for a uh, year and a half now. So uh, not bad and of course we got this one too so they are definitely using that Volvo license. I can tell you that, all right. Uh, I love that when they do that. Uh, if they keep releasing one Volvo casting each year, then we're in for a treat. I used to have, we used to work in a Volvo dealership. I've never worked in the Volvo factory here in, in the city where I live. Did apply for a job that, but uh, and I was uh, I could start working there, but I ended up not doing that. So yeah. Well, Matchbox already does the P eighteen hundred, so um, it's not really necessary for Hot Wheels to do one. Um, what would be cool for Hot Wheels to do next, Volvo wise? Um, well, we already got a 760 in the past, maybe a 240. I think there's a lot of people who want a 240 um, in, the, in three inch. I think the 240 is, uh, is definitely high up on the Volvo enthusiast list. So I'm kind of hoping they will, uh, they will do that one next. Yeah, the 850 is a, it's a great looking car, but it's also a great driving car. Uh, the five cylinder engine S60R, yeah, that would also be cool. Frank Magnaghi, I agree. I don't have a motorcycle, no. I do have a motorcycle license, uh, but I don't have a motorcycle. Um, but yeah, the, the engine in this thing is uh, crazy. It's, uh, it's got so much potential. Um, when Ford owned Volvo, they put the five cylinder in the Focus uh, RS. It made uh, 350 horse, I believe, but that was not uh, the maximum they could uh, get out of that uh, five cylinder. It's got a lot of potential, that engine, and uh, it's completely bulletproof. It's, uh, yeah, you cannot. Uh, wreck that engine thanks for watching sean bye amazon sedan yeah that would be cool too but you know i think it's unlikely they would do a sedan if they already have the wagon and if i can get the choice i prefer the the wagon because it's uh, it's so much cooler it's much more rare than the sedan uh, stop motion toy car high um, in real life these were used until they completely were worn out and uh, so there's not a lot of these left powerful angel if they uh, want to the 480 es well matchbox already did that so um, well they could uh, re-release that that's true wouldn't mind that. And just like the C30 is kind of the successor of the, the 480. So yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff they can choose from. 
uh, if they want to release uh, another Volvo casting next year. So, uh, yeah, let's hope. Uh, you want another all of the kind car video, please? Well, I've got, well, it's funny you ask. Okay, I will show some uh, behind the scenes. Just going to move my light a little bit. Show some behind the scenes of what possible videos I've got planned for uh, many of a kind. So uh, this box, that's not really anything in here. So here we got hybrid and electric vehicles. That's going to be a many of a kind video. This is uh, all the stuff that's in here. So we got loose cars, a bunch of loose cars in here. Got carded cars. So these are all hybrids and electrics. That's going to be in many of a kind video. So I've got, I've got these all prepared. Even got a, a list of vehicles I have to uh, pay attention to. Got it all prepared and in one box. So it's just a matter of shooting the video. And here we got. I'm going to take these invoices away. Here we got the taxi, many of a kind taxi video. So this is uh, all the taxis I have. So again, the loose stuff in the baggie, and then the carded stuff. So this, this one I also got from Joe, by the way. So um, that's another many of a kind video. Then what's underneath here? Oh, this is a Cadillac video from the when I get the next Matchbox Cadillac series. This is a, a Gullwing video, all Gullwing cars, also a many of a kind video. We got, uh, yeah, some. Here we got the uh, Unimog, it's also going to be a many of a kind video. Small box, don't have that many Unimogs, but I'm missing a few pieces, so I'm kind of waiting for uh, to have all the, the missing pieces. Here we got non-American pickup trucks. So again, a bunch of loose cars in here. And then a bunch of carded cars. As you can see, some utes. So that's an also a many of a kind video. And then here we got wagons. Big box as you can see, but it's not full. Um, got a lot of Lucy's here. And then some uh, carded cars. So these, uh, these all have to be added to that box, all these wagons here. These are also going to go in there. So that's about it, what I've got. Oh no, that's not it, sorry. I'm forgetting one, and that's over here. This bag is the Volvo video. Well, not just this bag, also this blue box with uh, loose cars in there. So that's going to be the Volvo video. So this is filled to the brim. Filled to the brim with Volvo. So you can see some more of these. And then a whole bunch of other stuff. All kinds of brands. So yeah, that's, uh, that's everything I got prepared for the uh, many of a kind videos. It's just a matter of finding the time to film them. And uh, yeah, quirky. I've got the Tomica XC60. That's right. The white one. I don't know if there's a recolor yet. So yeah, um, something to look forward to. You got a backlog of cool videos. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, Joe still got a lot of stuff to tape but the problem is the weather's getting better here so uh yeah 
I got a lot of cleaning up to do outside in the, the yard and stuff. Yeah, school bus, fire trucks, police cars. Yeah, that's right. I forgot about those. Many other kind of videos. The rest, there's more. There's more. Um, maybe real working works. I can do many of kind of. I already did these unlicensed. So buses and school buses. Uh, emergency vehicles unlicensed. No, probably not. Food trucks. That's also going to be a many of a kind. Tow trucks, flatbeds, wreckers, haulers. That's also going to be a many of a kind video. Uh, Hot Wheels unlicensed treasure hunts and screen time. No, I already did uh, uh, videos on those. So yeah, that's also these are also topics for uh, that kind of video series. I did actually forget about those. Thanks for reminding me. So yeah, that uh, that's all stuff that still is uh, in the works. Just have to find the time for it, and yeah, with the, the weather can better. It's going to be a little bit harder, <laughs> but you know, we'll see. We'll see when we get there. So, thanks a lot for watching. Thanks, Joe, for this awesome box. A lot of cool stuff. Uh, definitely. Uh, all stuff that I really like and uh, I really want it. Thank you for those of you who commented in the live chat. Have a nice Sunday, have a nice day, have a nice evening, have a nice week. And uh, well, who knows when I will do a next live. See you then. Bye bye.